when you break down Conor McGregor, you got to think about you know the left hand and the the spins, and you got to think about all the technique. But you also have to break down the man himself, the mind games, the mental warfare. You know, he's somewhat of an enigma. But what we do know is he's great at mental warfare. He's great at saying things. He's great at getting under your opponent's skin, and he's the biggest, most polarizing name in the sport by far. You know, possibly in the history of combat sports. So I think standing across the cage from Conor McGregor uh, is something I visualize now for the last six, eight years. He'd have to kill me to, to get me out of that cage. Almost got my knee broken in half. I've almost gotten choked out completely in fights. I just don't tap. I'd rather I'd rather let my leg snap or let myself go unconscious than give up on myself in front of millions of people. That plays perfectly into my hand with a guy like Conor McGregor. There comes a moment in that fight where he chooses to either fight through something or give up and tap, and he always does. He always taps.